Massimo Coppo is a monk who belongs to a small community called the Community of Bethlehem, based in Rocca Sant'Angelo, just a few miles from Assisi. He took a vow of poverty and a life dedicated to prayer at the age of 32. Massimo Coppo studied to be a professor of agricultural sciences, but left everything at age 32 when he met Marcello Chiai, the founder of the family community of Bethlehem, whom he considers a prophet of our time. First he was a volunteer for the association, helping with his agricultural knowledge, then he was the treasurer. Since 2010 he has lived in Assisi in penitent conditions, often sleeping on the street or in doorways, as part of a special call to public penance. Massimo wrote a book in 2007 entitled From the Land of Assisi, a spirit of prophecy about the collapse of the economy, that presents the figure of the community founder Marcello Chiai, his miraculous visions and events and charitable activities. Seven years ago Massimo Coppo, a barefoot man dressed as a beggar, arrived at the Vatican on March 13, the same day that the conclave was electing Pope Francis as the successor to Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. The monk attracted the attention of the international press because he knelt in St. Peter's Square for hours, regardless of whether it was hot or rainy. Massimo was faithful to his faith, and caused astonishment among the rest of the visitors who took photos of him. Some of the faithful approached him, a woman covered him with her umbrella from the rain, and a man knelt next to him for two hours. Visitors and the media finally approached the monk to ask him about his faith. The monk replied, I want to urge you to realize, instead of taking pictures of me, how difficult times we are living very difficult. He also warned that times of great suffering were foreseen for the church and for the entire world. This new pope will have a very difficult job and we must prepare to suffer. Many sufferings come for the church, the Vatican, and the world. I hope you realize the times we are approaching he said. We are approaching the end times. In March 2020, Brother Massimo once again captured the eyes of users of social media, since he was recently caught on the streets of Valencia, Spain, where he talks about the coronavirus. The monk points out that he came to Spain to alert people that the coronavirus is a sign of God's wrath. He said that God's love is the only thing that can save humans from the coronavirus. He then began to read from Psalm 91. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shade of the Almighty, say to the Lord, my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust, he will rescue you from the fowler's snare, from the destroying plague, he will shelter you with his pinions, and under his wings you may take refuge, his faithfulness is a protecting shield. You shall not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that roams in darkness, nor the plague that ravages at noon. Though a thousand fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, near you it shall not come. You need simply watch, the punishment of the wicked you will see. Because you have the Lord for your refuge and have made the Most High your stronghold, no evil shall befall you, no affliction come near your tent. For he commands his angels with regard to you, to guard you wherever you go. With their hands they shall support you, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You can tread upon the asp and the viper, trample the lion and the dragon. Because he clings to me I will deliver him, because he knows my name I will set him on high. He will call upon me, and I will answer, I will be with him in distress, I will deliver him and give him honor. With length of days I will satisfy him, and fill him with my saving power. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please like and subscribe. May God bless you and keep you. Saint Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us.